What's going on in my country, Sudan, is actually uh, very terrible and very bad right now. Uh, there is a very dangerous war going on in Sudan. It was in Khartoum, but now has spread in different states in the country and different regions. So th there is a fighting between the rapid support forces and the Sudan National Army forces or National Armed Forces. A lot of people have lost their houses, you know, because of the fighting and the airstrike inside the city. The major um, effects is, um, you know, the impact of that war is in Khartoum because it has started in Khartoum and the war is still going on in Khartoum, especially yesterday, uh, until yesterday, last night and this morning. There is a very, uh, you know, much shooting inside the capital until now. So there is a very much humanitarian crisis going on in there. What is it like uh, leaving everything you've ever owned, you've ever known uh, to flee to a different country? It's a very unfortunate feeling and it was not very easy. I was very traumatized and felt alone because as a journalist, I was dreaming to start my own media houses. And of course, last year, I managed to start my own company, register the company, build the website, and bring the equipment. I have uh, prepared the studio production. Uh, I think, you know what does it mean for uh, somebody to start for seven or eight years saving just to start your own business as a young person? As I talked to you, I only moved, thank God, with my laptop. That's the precious thing I have, the laptop. and the the passport there is nothing that can actually be um, you know can get back uh, after this war uh you left almost all your relatives all your friends back there are they safe have you been able to talk to them i am able to talk to my friends i talk to my family as well uh we've lost some of relatives and um, also friends but those who are alive, we are still in touch with them. What can you tell us that uh, uh, happened to you? Uh, you had to live uh, with a pregnant wife. Uh, you had to walk uh, to Ethiopia and maybe find your way to Kenya. How did you do it? Two weeks after the war, intensive shooting in, in Khartoum. You know, a lot of houses nearby us were, uh, were destroyed and shot. And many people are living because of, as a journalist, by that time, I was not able to go and report on the ground. I would, I'm just seeing what's going on. Uh, for me, it was a choice whether I stay or look after my family. So I decided to, um, to leave the country with my wife. And then it was, it, has been very, it was very difficult. When we started evacuation, she was uh, seven months. Uh, uh, pregnant so uh, it took us like uh, maybe 10 days to cross the two borders and then mm. come here and uh, congratulations on uh, your baby i'm hopefully that i will tell him that you will be the next president of sudan to to uh, you know so that he i will i want him to be given a birth without tripe without color without support to any to any of those people so i want him to be a sudanese who will go back to the country in the name of the Sudan and uh, hopefully will be the president of the next country. I can't wait to see uh, that young man come to life. Uh, once again, uh, congratulations and uh, uh, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you very much, Paul. Great story there, Shakur. Very brave man. Shakur Nyaketo, a Sudanese national speaking to BOS Paul Ndiho.